So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound and we are in the second assignment of the day one of the five days AI agent intensive course by Google in case you haven't watched the first part of this video you should watch this I have shared the link in the description also you can come to the courses directly and here you can see all the details regarding the course are live over here so let's start the second module and before we start if you're new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now here we are in the second module how you'll find this module basically you have to come to your email let me show you and you have to simply open this email okay day one assignment okay now here you can see we have filled our first ai agent using gemini and adk toolkit now we have to add a multi agent system okay the first module is already completed you have to come over here and see this is the solution now second solution is here you have to right click and open over here this will be open now click on this copy and edit make sure before that you start you are signed in now here the editor page is being loaded it will take some time so wait for it now here finally it is successfully started now here they have mentioned that in this basically in this course we'll learn about how to use the multi-agent system in the adk agent development kit and we'll be building our first system using a llm as a manager so now come over here and you can see this is the basic thing which we have done and we have to just create a new API key I think so yes we have to create a new API key for that just open this wait a second you have to click on it directly so it will open in a new tab okay now basically we are having a trial version of the Google AI studio and if you have already created the API key previously what you can do basically I think so okay we have already created the api key so we are using it in case you don't have the api key click on create api key name your api key anything you can name it anything you can use any professional name because this is not the correct way then click on create project and then simply enter the name of the project and the api key will be created if you have followed the module one you must be knowing now here we'll be using the api key copy it carefully and then simply come to the b notebook and from here you can see the add-ons option you have to click on this add-ons option click on the secrets and here click on add secret and in the value you have to paste the api key and in the label you have to paste this okay this in case it's not visible you have to just drag your mouse cursor from here to here do not add any extra space or dot over here now once you have done this you have to simply save it now come over here click on it make sure the cell is activated and here you can see this play button you have to click on it to just set your project and authenticate and just wait a second why it's showing it okay do not worry it's just saying what we have done previously so just wait for it to get completed it may take some time do not worry about it so finally here you can see the first thing is done now chances are there you may get some kind of error that you have you make sure you have added the google api key so sometimes what happens by default this checkbox is sometimes not enabled you have to click on this checkbox okay like this you have to click on it so that it gets set now let's come to the next thing now we have to import the adk components why you need to import the adk components basically so that we have all the necessary building blocks which will be used for creating the multi-agent system so just come over here and run it it will take few seconds another few important thing is that 
if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel and if you are having any query you can let me in the comment section if you are facing error also you can comment down below so let's wait for this to get completed it will take some time so wait for it so finally here you can see adk components are imported successfully now five multi-agent system so basically you must be seeing why you are using multi-agent system so here you can see they have mentioned all the things like single agents can also do a lot of problems but when there is task is complex for example when we complete similar when a organization grows we have some people for dealing with basically in the reception then for meetings then for different works we have positions like ceo 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 cto like this similarly for different when the task is complex i know the example is little bit weird but i am trying to make you understand when the task get complex the single model cannot work basically then we are creating a multi-agent system you can see this is the single agent and this is the diagram for the multi-agent system so let's create it so come over here and just run this so you can see the research agent is successfully created and after that, we have to just run this one also to summarize your agent. We have created two agent, which agent? Research specialist and summary specialist. Okay, now here let's create a root coordinator also. So just run it. Now root coordinator is also created. Now here we have to run it to just test it. So many of you are getting this kind of error, right? You are getting this kind of error. You can see if I am able to show that resource error you are getting. This is due to the API rate limit has been hidden. So in such cases, what you can do, you can wait for some more time. Okay, you can wait for some more time and retry. Or if the issue is not resolved, then you have to simply come over here delete the api key and just recreate the api key so you have to do it like this only if it's working let me see so let me create a new api key i'm deleting the old one and then let me create a new api key so name the api key it's you can write any name okay Wait a second. If we add directly to the project, directly through the project, let's see what happens. So the project name you must have seen, which we have created earlier. So I'm directly adding it over here. Now copy the API key and just update it. Okay, update the secret and just save it. So when you save it, you can see it's updated. Now let's try to run it. So here we are getting still the error. So you have to come above again and just run all the things one by one. Okay. So from here, from configuring the API key to the next step. Okay. So just rerun the command again. You can see the API is set. Again, run this second one. Similarly, come over here, run the third one, run the fourth one, fifth one. And then here we have to just run this one. So it's taking some time. You can see we are getting some outputs over here. Now, like this, you have to complete it because in the first video, many of you are commenting that we are getting error. So here you can see we are again getting this kind of, I think, resource issue. So what you can do, you can wait for some more time and try again or just wait for 24 hours because due to the load, I think the limit is getting exceeded. So we have to just wait for some more time. So let's try one more time here. We are just deleting it. See, if you are able to complete it, you can move ahead. But if you are getting error, which many of you are getting error. So that's why I'm just showing it. So let me add the name and just we have to create a new project. And that also we are naming it. So like this, we have to do. So finally, the new project and the API key is being created. So here you can see the API key. We have to come over here and just again, we have to just update the value like this. So here just click on save. Now finally, it's successfully saved. 
okay once it is saved you can do one thing you can reload the browser also i think it will help a lot now wait for the page to fully load now come over here and just set all the things so just run all one by one key is set come over here set the adk set the agent and then just set it like this just set one by one now again try to run it see we are getting the error same error again and again so you can wait for some more time or if you're having another gmail account okay another gmail account you can do it let me do a demo with you so as i got the error i'm just testing uh, one thing i use different gmail account to create a, another api key like we did over here so here is the new api key let me just check it whether it works or not so here we have to just come over here and simply let's run it so here we have to just come to the add-ons secrets and here add secret into the value of the new api key okay now here come over here to the top if we see wait a second yes this google api key copy it carefully without any extra space or dot just paste it and save it finally we have added it now we have to run it one by one so here just run one by one again let's see whether it works or not because we have tested multiple methods also and if it will not work then we have to just leave it till the cooldown period so now let's see so again we are getting the resource limit exceeded error so i think there is no resolution of just restarting it so if we do one thing that factory reset it and restart the session let's see whether it works or not so here just run it here wait for the session to get connected so now the session is also live and it's working so let's see each one one by one it's working again So here you can see this is also imported i think yes so now we have to just set the multi agent one by one again run the second command now run the third command and now here okay so let's run it and let's see whether it works or not so here it's taking some time please it work yes finally it worked finally it worked what we need to do we have to just restore factory reset the session and then it will work now let's come to the third thing okay outline generated writer generated now simply run it okay Now again, we have to generate it. So yes, we are not getting any error over here. Now it will become simpler. Now we have to run the next code and another code. And similarly, we have to just run it. So now we again hit the rate limit i think so oh, by mistake i cancelled it so we have to run it again 
So here you can see we are getting the output. Now if we talk about the output, first of all let me see. Once we complete, we will review all the things. Do not worry about it. So here this is also done and we have done up to here. Now this is being done and here we are completing the loop over here. Refiner is also created and then simply create the sequential and then you have to just run the memory. So here we have completed it. So basically this module was about basically this multi-agent system as I said why we need a multi-agent system because single agents cannot do a lot. If we are a, doing a heavy task or basically complex task to be more correct then a single agent that tries to do the research, writing, editing can become very hectic and may lead to inaccuracies. So basically to overcome this problem, we have just created a multi-agent system. So here multi-agent teams works in two forms, research specialist and summary specialist. Research specialist finds the findings and summary specialist summarizes it. So basically whatever you search, if you are searching for the research tool, it, you will get the findings okay and if you're for searching for summary uh, based first you search the basically research okay you are researching about any topic then you get the basically findings like if you are searching for HMS Beagle or whether it's Darwin's uh, theory etc and here if you want uh, basically it will just show all the research paper and if you want a summarized version of all the papers basically the KSNs like branching descent and natural selection are key concepts of the basically Darwin's theory basically key concepts of natural selection I think so so basically I forgot some of the things but I think this is the way we have to just understand and here we are having shared resources like one is doing the summarization task one is doing the researching task now here if we are having a single basically we call it a monolithic agent then one task only does like it will generate the images also it will generate the text also it will generate the videos also so like this you have to just see so we have covered this part and if you have got the error you know you have to just restore the factory set it and try again so basically here you can see the parallel workflows of independent researchers. So here you can see uh, the problem is bottleneck and here that you can see that for example they have given researching three different topics and running them in sequence would be slow. Okay and create a bottleneck also uh, if you are using the free tire. So the solution is that you use a parallel agent. Okay like here chat GPT is running here Gemini is running like this multiple agents can run together and you can just type all the required queries and it will generate it. You can see here the parallel execution is over shown over here. You can just see it and just read it also. So this is the thing we have completed and that's the way to complete this task you must have seen the first module in case you haven't seen it do check it out and if you have any query you can let me in the comment section do like the video and subscribe the channel guys and let's save it okay let's save the version over here so just save it because it may require for future so we are just saving it and again it's taking some time so thank you guys have a great day ahead do like the video and subscribe the channel